What was your decision-making process when you first found out about corporate wellness to deciding to make a career and a job with corporate wellness? Hmm. The first step is that I decided I wanted to become an entrepreneur. When I was a student, I was already teaching Zumba and dance classes, social media marketing. I was a freelancer. And then when I had a job, I was on payroll. But when I stopped the job, yeah, I was going to a full-time entrepreneur. And I remember my mom said, just try it for a month. That was like a huge step to become an entrepreneur and be responsible and pay social security and taxes. So the first step was, yes, I'm going to try a month after working in payroll to be a full-time entrepreneur freelancer. And then the second step was I looked at well-being and studied the market. What is well-being? When I heard about corporate wellness, I started making this 20 page business plan of what can I do? I can work with kids. I can work with companies, with seniors. So then I started thinking, who do I want to work with? And then I looked at, do I want to work with individuals or with groups? So that was the third step. I remember making a, a 20 page document of a business plan. Am I someone who wants to guide people like being a nutritionist? I studied some nutritional courses. Um, I even guided two people to try it out one to one. But I learned very quickly that I love working with big groups. I've been teaching dance to like hundreds of people. And I also saw the benefits of people working on health together in community. So I quickly decided wanted to become an entrepreneur. I just did it. I wanted to um, work with like 20 to 50 years old working people because I saw my own energy decrease working in a company. And then I decided I want to work with groups, groups of people instead of individuals. So I think these were three steps in my decision making process of why I wanted to go to that corporate company wellness because it's groups because I was going to be a consultant. I was going to be freelance um, and it was a whole exciting thought to actually see if I could make it my career and become an entrepreneur for real.